G'day, it's Jamie, and welcome to Where's My Yowie. Today I'm reading an old newspaper report about a Yowie sighting at Wallen Bean in 1881, so we'll get into it. It was published in the Cootamundra Herald, dated Saturday the 12th of November 1881, titled A Hideous Hobgoblin. The peaceful inhabitants of Wallen Bean were scared on Saturday night by a strange and dreadful noise proceeding from the direction of Powell's old hotel, an earthquakery kind of sound, and they were filled with the belief that the world to an end had come, being 1881, yet the noise seemed more like that of a wild animal. So the majority came to the conclusion that it was an escapee from Cole's great menagerie, who, after lying in ambush for the winter, fell hungry and was seeking something for his stomach's sake. At last their minds were relieved by the appearance of a young man who, after recovering from the shock to his robust system, related the following story. Returning home, he saw a strange object coming towards him. His first thought was to bolt, but strong curiosity tempted him to stop, to have a good look at the ugly thing, and on close examination he saw a slight resemblance to the human species, and he involuntarily exclaimed, By Jingo! Darwin's missing link! Oh horror! The Yahoo! With a clenched sapling suddenly made for him, and his yells might have been heard in Cootamundra. Our friend has to thank the fright given to his horse for his escape. After losing his prey, the Yahoo was heard swearing and growling something about Wallen being crumbs. This, pe this beast has attacked several persons of late. A young man that comes around here pretty regularly and hides his delicate face in a big helmet had an hour escape from it, and on Sunday, another was attacked when going home from church. A party is to be organised to secure him, so they mean to capture the Yahoo of Wallen Bean. The end. Well, that's a pretty interesting story, I thought. I like the fact that the guy, after getting attacked, wears a helmet. I think that's pretty funny, and I don't blame him, I'd probably wear a helmet too. So that's it for me, and I'll get back to you all next time. Bye.